Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are finally, finally doing Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 6, Episode 1 called Missing Pieces. So we start off with um, basically the ship that Fitz was on with that alien guy that was helping them out got cut in half by some type of weapon. And then we go to one year later. <laughs> And Piper and the rest of the team on S.H.I.E.L.D. are on the bus on a random planet. They're being boarded, but Quake handles them easily. <laughs> like, stupid easily. And then we cut to where Mac is at the lighthouse back on Earth, and he's monitoring something. And then he assembles a strike team, and is at this Indiana park. So we have some kids playing basketball. All of a sudden, the, the court opens up a bunch of um, birds fly out of this um, phenomenon. And a guy pops out of a wall. And the second one tries to, but then he gets stuck. And so um, May threatened to take the guy out, but the guy fired on them. And so the plane or the Quinjet crashed. But everyone's okay. And then we cut to our Mac recruits with the team, and basically, um, this guy, I think his name is Keller. Com correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what the guy's name is. Um, says, like, with other types of people, or, like, I don't know how to say it in a politically correct way, but other cultures say that these places are in planes of different existence, so that could be something, so they... So Matt says, okay, we'll try to go with that still looking for out-of-the-box ideas. Like, nothing's too stupid to say, so that's why the guy said something. And then we cut to where Mac talks to Coltson, but it's really a hologram through the, um, the toolbox. Then he talks to May, and basically it's going to be a year tomorrow of, I guess, Coltson moving on from this life. And, um, basically there's a proposal happening where they're trying to find a head for a department, and she's made as close to find that person. Then we go back to Tim Simmons, and Quake and Tate the guy, and basically he has half of the ship, so they're gonna go to the ship. Then we go back to Earth, where Yo-Yo is training with May, and they talk about Keller and how, um... Yo-Yo is basically, she's been done with Mac for a while, but I just agreed to kind of move on. Because Matt's been more involved into his work at S.H.I.E.L.D. as being the director. And Yo-Yo is like, she's ready to move on and she's kind of have, she has a, a thing with Keller. And then we go back to space where they are on the ship and we see Fizz's pod is empty. And then we go back to Earth where Yo-Yo talks to Keller and they just kind of play it cool but they said but he says like you probably should tell her tell him soon because he doesn't want him to find out you know if it's not from them like you know gossip or whatever so she agrees to talk to him eventually then we cut to where is at the bar and May shows up and she has a head for the department and some doctor that has a super IQ of 160 and a super duper smart and so they go to talk to him and basically Mac wants him to build a new shield academy and he'll consider doing it because when they mission when they mentioned that some of their team is off in deep space he's like deep space you say and he got really interested so I don't know if he's going to do it or not but I think that's like one of the tipping points to make him think you know to consider the job then we cut to where Simmons is upset, and then Quake is talking to the other three people, and basically says it's time to just go home and just to regroup and maybe come back, but, you know, it's time to go. And then Simmons gets in the casket, or the time capsule. Then we cut to where more people show up with uh, the original guy back on Earth, and they're going to blow up a museum. Okay. And then we go back to someone's back in the casket and she saw something. So she goes to enter the coordinates and it leads to a planet. 
But Quake says, no, we're not going there. And the team backs Quake up on this. And they're just ready to go home. And they need to do repairs, like I said earlier. And just deal with that. And she's not really happy about it. And then someone, the Confederacy is coming. Which is like this big ass ship. Like a big ass ship. So they turn, they turn off the power and try to go dark mode. And it's like passing over them. And then uh, we cut to um, back on Earth in the lab. Um, the guy in the wall all of a sudden is talking to them and says something weird like pop populistic. I don't know what that is. Um, I, I didn't really hear that great. So yeah. And draw the device with a location and some time on it. Then we cut to where the Confederacy, the Confederacy ship spotted them. So they tried to dodge the attack, which they do. And they're jumping to the planet because Simmons pre-programmed it in. And she goes, I'm sorry. And they, they jump to the location. Then we cut to Earth where the museum is happening. And the girl is faking out the team. And the museum is toast. And the, but the, the blonde guy, I don't know if the blonde guy is Keller or not. I don't know yet. But anyway, the blonde guy got her. But then a truck came through the debris. And Coltson popped out. And shot the guy with blonde hair. And they leave. And May saw it and she's kind of in disbelief. And then we cut to where Fizz is on live. Where he's talking to an alien. And ingests himself. And then his eyes change his color. And he goes like, let's do this. So I don't know what that is. And that's the end of the episode. Okay. This episode was great. I really enjoyed it. I gave it an A+. There's a lot of stuff happening, and I don't understand what's going, what everything that's happening happening. I kind of want to be a little bit more clued in, but I still had chills throughout the entire episode, which hasn't happened to me since probably the last season, and, or on any other shows. So that's why I give it an A plus. And I love the direction it's going in. Um, I'm enjoying this episode. I was enjoying the episode a lot. I was like, I'm so happy it's back on. <laughs> and um, I love the cinematography, the fight scenes that Daisy did. That was excellent. I was like, damn, that was cool. And overall, the Just episode and Just in general is great. And um, I hope more stuff gets filled in, which I'm sure it will. And I just can't wait to see the rest of the season. Oh my god, I already want to be the next Friday already. Anyway. That's wonderful for this video. So, like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree or disagree? Are you excited the, the show's back on? And just tell me what you think. If you have any suggestions for any other shows, I'll we'll probably get it in 2025, but we'll get to it eventually. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody.